I've actually not seen a facility like this before and I think it's quite impressive and it's great for familiarisation of all new people starting in tunnelling. With the pipeline of projects that we've got coming on in Victoria over at least the next 10 years, we needed a specialised training facility to enable workers to understand the environment they were going into, and whether it be smoky, whether it be hot, whether it be wet, we can simulate all of those environments. Here at the Victorian Tunnelling Centre, I've done working at heights training, as well as confined space training, which I found really excellent because it was a true representation of what you're faced with on site, but in the safety um, of the tunnelling centre. So the tunnels to North East Link we're building are six and a half kilometres long, twice the length of the Burnley Tunnel, and they'll be using two of the largest TBMs in operation in the Southern Hemisphere. This package alone, the tunnelling package, will have 8,000 workers working on the project, with 10% of our hours on the project dedicated to, um, to trainees, uh, cadets and apprentices. And it's really important that facilities like the Victorian Tunnelling Centre will support people getting to work on the tunnel. There's all, already a, a couple of big projects going on and we've got a huge pipeline of work coming up. I think it's safe to say after 10 years in this industry, there's nothing that excites me more than working in the underground space. 